It's Under Wraps Series 1 Autographed Baseball Rip. It's our box 110 that is happening right now. And we've got a list of owners through this thing. We're going to random this list seven times. And then randomize the checklist players seven times and match things up side by side with our two random lists and find out who has what checklist player in the break. You've got guys like Nolan Ryan, Joe Morgan, so many big names and possibilities. <laughs> A lucky number seven. <laughs> uh. <laughs> lucky number seven. What is it? Who is it? What is it? Who is it? <laughs> Seven times. You know, I quit collecting in the early 90s because because of Wade Boggs went to the Yankees, and I'm a Red Sox fan. So that just that damaged me. I quit watching baseball and everything. Here we go. Lucky number seven. Wade Boggs is in this, and he, he remains my all-time favorite player. I just couldn't for the life of me figure it out. I couldn't figure out why Wade Boggs would go to the Yankees. How could he do that? And then as I got a little older, I realized... You know what? This stuff is a business. <laughs> uh, and then I couldn't blame him for certain things, but I, I still, I kind of hold it against him. He went to the Yankees. I kind of can't ever get over that, but he's still my favorite all-time player. Anyway, uh, let's see what happens. Wade Boggs is in this. So is Roger Clemens. Everybody's got a ball player, Nolan Ryan. Oh, yeah. Hank Aaron. Let's pull a Hank Aaron, Snake. Now let's hit something big. Good luck, everybody, in the break. Let's hit a big one in this. There's Wade Boggs. There's only maybe two or three on that list that I don't know. And the other day, I was like, well, I'm just going to look somebody up. And I wasn't familiar with Bobby Richardson. And when I looked up Bobby Richardson, he's from the 60s, played for the Yankees, World Series champ. 
he was like an MVP. <laughs> so it's like everybody in here is huge. Huge. I felt like an idiot when after I looked up the guy that I didn't know. I was like, oh my gosh. One of the best all-time players for the Yankees. Anyway, here we go. It's a big hit coming up in the autograph baseball. Have we struck gold? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't see a shimmer. It could be a gold Schmidt. It's not a gold ball. <laughs> so if we struck gold, it would be a Paul Goldschmidt. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Is it a multi-signed item? Got to be careful where I put my fingers, man. This thing could have 10 cigs on it. What is it? Who is it? It looks like Don Sutton to me. Is that Don Sutton? Is that who that is? That's got to be a Don Sutton. If it's not Don Sutton, I'll be shocked. Well, this is going to tell us what it is. Bing. Bing, 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 bing. Hall of Fame inscription, Don Sutton, everybody. And let's see who has Don Sutton in the rip. I'm going to use my search feature. And that's just going to send us directly down the list to Justin C. Ho! Justin C., congratulations. You just pulled a Don Sutton autographed baseball. Nice hit. That is a legend of the game. Don Sutton. I think he was with the Red Sox for a short time. And then he, he was, uh, was with the Yankees as well. I think he's been on both ball clubs. I think most would remember him from the tussle he had recently in the later years. As a manager role, he got a tussle with uh pedro that was don sutton in that tussle with pedro and everybody was really upset to pedro because don sutton's so old but anyway a great hit for justin c nice